Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. And it's 0328 AM. You can't see that because of my light. And we have a job on today, a real mission. I shouldn't even be stopping to speak to you. So what happened was I was contacted by a farmer, Daryl, in Campbelltown, who said, Cammy, I have 600 sheep to scan, can you do it? I said, that's a bit far. How could I make it work? So I thought, I wonder if I could go and scan the sheep in Campbelltown and then make it to the boat to get to Aaron and scan there. So I've got about 600 to do at Campbelltown, 700 to do on Aaron, but I need to be at the boat at 12.15 to make it to Aaron. So this video is going to be all about me trying to make it on time. Will it work? Will it not? It's going to be very close, but we better get on the road so we can find out. Oh, I hope you're going to enjoy this one for the right reasons. <laughs> Let's go. Well, first little detour that has occurred, the Rest and Be Thankful, which is a, a very famous place in Scotland, a very famous road certainly, famous for sort of landslips and we've had so much rain recently that we're now being diverted down an old military road. So I'm just sitting here at a set of lights waiting for a convoy vehicle, I've been waiting for 10 minutes already. I know what you're thinking, you know, it's half past four in the morning, red light. No, you weren't thinking that, neither am I, but I think I see a vehicle coming in the distance, so like, not ideal, such a long hold up, but it is what it is. And we're finally off, following the convoy car here, up through the hills. It doesn't seem like much, you know, well, it does actually, it felt like a really long time, it was like 18 minutes or something, but that's like 18 minutes that at some point today might be absolutely crucial. Such is life, it just adds a little bit more drama to this vlog. Are we going to make the boat from Tarbit to Lochranza? That is the big question of the day. So, we have got the microphone linked up to the camera here. We're in Mosdal, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, cancel that. I'm looking for a man with a pickup. That looks about right. <laughs> Wait, he said to me, I says, he'll be just waiting for me here. How are you getting on? I'm not bad, you alright? You well? I'm good. What's the plan this morning? Just, I just keep it rolling so for the if drama. You just, if you just follow me the now, then we'll go. The sheep are in the funk. Ready to go? Ready to go. Some Ready man. Go. Oh, hi. <laughs> Campbelltown farmers, eh? Half six in the morning, and they're ready to go. Great to see. Oh, that guy's not waiting for him, it. <laughs> right, let's get to the fank. Probably want it to that far away post. Aye. That'll do, that'll do. Stop that beeping. Oh, right, burn it. So there's a call win the day. That's a cold wind, I should say. No, it's the most awkward bit to get to, yeah. Like, I wonder the aye, I can't how Wally Scullin must be up for a knighthood all the running about he does. Aye, that's very, very helpful, aren't are saying nice things about him, I can leave this in the video. I'm not need, I'm not need to edit it out. <laughs> right. Thing is, I'm trying to make a vlog and do things quickly, which isn't so easy. Ah, you've been flat out, been every day this year actually. I thought, Ken, last year I was still in the polis. Stick that under the back, under the back there, boy. Just, just under that, the sort of hard bit that doesn't Ooh. move. Good man. Uh, I thought being out the polis, I would have plenty of spare time this year, but uh, it's not a bit. Oh, for a, for an easy life. What is it? Love the love the sheep tree. Aye. <laughs> Farming's a lot easier than. Uh, Working in the rat race, I tell you that. You're working hard physically, but mentally it's quite refreshing most of the time, Ken. Uh, I know some hate you. Well, I, I need to ever try to stab me at the scanning. <laughs> hey, get back. <laughs> I'm always ready though, just in case. <laughs> it's 
especially come in your area like this. I know. Okay, so first lot finished. Oh. What's that? Twenty pound note in there. Don't know how that happened. Lizzie must have gave me it. It says seven twenty four. Well, not bad. Let me just tuck this away. Might never see one again. Okay, so we have arrived. Just letting the sheep sneak past. We've got a wee mixed bag. We've got mules, you see, through the window here. We've got clins. We've got blackies. What else have we got? Oh, there's a... Oh, that's a cheviot. Uh, I think that's about it. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long, is what I'm thinking. And we should make this boat. Uh, this is a fantastic opportunity just to say thanks to my partners, Crystalix. Oh, see it. Product placement. Gone last. <laughs> right. There's gear here. That's gear and Cara. That we even right in front of us is a wee island of Cara. Cara, gear, Isla. Right, 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 right. And over there is Ireland, but you can't see it today. No, no. You, can't. you can see Ireland. Oh, No far away there. Okay, the time is 8.12. We're gloved up, probably ready to start for 8.14. Let's see how we go on. Okay, so we are one hour in, it's 9.14am and we have 364 done, so it's going quite well, they're running alright. The team are doing really well actually, the odd little stall like this here, where one's just decided not to run up, but that happens, apart from that they're running fantastic. I hear a bit of shout. Done 670 all in. Not bad, and it is 10 10. Yeah, it's so there. Good. But yeah, not bad. Good. Pass. Ah, ideal. Well, I'll climb up out here, that'll be the best way. Are you time for a cup of tea? Oh, is it when's the boat? Quarter past twelve, I said. But you, would you need to be there half an hour before? Aye. And we're 25 minutes away. What time is it now? Yeah, but it's three minutes past ten. Aye, aye. Aye, I'll cut it to you. Warning lights, warning lights, washers, keys, maintenance filter. Ah, back to normal. Unbelievably, it's all going to plan, sheep fans. That doesn't happen very often. Hope I'm not too loud with you there. Look behind me at the beautiful views onto the Isle of Arran. How bonny is that? How bonny is that? And just right down to the pier front here. The beautiful blue waters of the Firth of Clyde. I think that's what it's called. Water looks nice and clear, actually. Oh, do you fancy a wee duke? Nah. Nah, not today, Cammy. 
Not today. It's too cold. Too too cold once you get back out. We've still got plenty of work to do. Different if I was going home after that. Oh, it's it's cold out here. It is very very cold. Anyway, that is just a beautiful sight. Show you once again. Bonnie, Bonnie, Scotland. We are very lucky here. So that's looking to Argyll, Campbelltown way there. And then round to the Isle of Arran. She's bra. And then up there is like Millport and Butte and stuff like that as well. So yeah, got a lot of islands here on the west coast of Scotland. A lot of bra, bra islands. But I'm just going to jump in the car, keep warm until the boat comes. Oh no. Oh no. It was just going too well. Do you know what I've done? I was supposed to get the boat from Tarbot to Lachranza. I didn't know I didn't know there was two different places to get the boat to Lachranza. I'm sitting at Clinaig like an idiot and it's after the time I'm like this boat's not here yet. And I stopped a car, I've no phone signal, nothing to check. I stopped a car, says, What's the crack with this boat? It says, Oh it doesn't run for there, it runs for Tarbot. So I've missed it. There's only one boat a day. <laughs> It's like three hours to get home and there's sheep waiting on Aaron. This is so embarrassing. This is ridiculous. I'm, I'm actually sick with it, like, ruin my whole day. There's no point in rushing anywhere, like, I need to go and get a phone signal and phone the guy. Oh, Hendo, when you watch this, I hope you get a laugh. I'm sorry, mate. Oh, Cammy. You've done some stupid things, but this is up there. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Oh. Oh, man, this was going to be a great day. I can't believe that. Right, I better go and phone this, man. I have no signal, I need to go somewhere to get a phone signal. Catch up with you in a wee while. Cammy, ca no phone signal. Signposted everywhere. Ferry to Aaron. Right, so I'm coming along the road. Ferry to Aaron. There's the ferry to Aaron. Follow the road along. Sit and wait. Timetable up on the ball, looked like it said half twelve. I thought he said quarter past, but I think, right, okay, maybe he means be there for quarter past. So, right, that's fine. Sit, 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 half past comes, nothing there. Go out to the road, try to get a phone signal, and a farmer comes by and says, What about this uh, boat to Aaron? Is it running? He says, All right, it's just running once a day for Tarbot. And as soon as he said that, I was like, That explains why there's nobody else here. <laughs> that explains why there's nobody else here and there's no boat. We will have a laugh about this just once I work out how I'm going to fit in these sheep and I don't know. That's my problem. The worst of it is he's got them all gathered up. Need to be the morrow. Need to be the morrow. Need to push things back. Right. Let's take a minute, regroup, and we'll get back to you with a plan. I had loads of time. I sat there for over an hour, or about an hour. We could be halfway home. <laughs> a great lesson for life that uh, my shearing mentor, James Andrew, taught me was that when things go wrong, don't get stressed because it just clouds your judgment. Don't get angry, don't get upset. Just take a breath. It's done now. We're not getting the boat. That's done. So you just need to process the information you have that is, it's three hours. Better answer this. Shuffle run. Yes, yes. Hi, how you doing? Not bad, what are you saying? <laughs> no, what? I wonder you look better then. Are you getting sheep in? Aye. Uh, I thought you'd say that. Uh, do you know what I'm thinking, right? Because I'm a, I'm a problem solver as well as a problem creator. Um, okay. I'll get the boat tonight. Okay. Problem solved, I've rearranged tomorrow's jobs and we're going to go to Aaron tonight to get an early start in the morning. So I stopped for a scone and I put some clotted cream on it and uh, some jam. Lizzie's got mint clotted cream, what with her being from southern England, it's quite a thing down there. We like, uh, not whipped cream, is it? Is it whipped cream? Whipped cream? Aye, we like whipped cream here. And I have to say, I have to say, I think whipped cream is better. But I'm not I'm not opposed to clotted cream. It's a good alternative, definitely. So clotted cream, strawberry jam, a wee bit of butter, homemade scones from Inverary. And oh, there he is.
Fear not, sheep fans. Let me turn that beeping off. Lizzie is going to salvage this day because we're going to scan some of my own sheep. And it is, what time is it now? It's nearly five o'clock. I can't reverse straight because I'm talking to you. No, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. I'm blaming myself. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, we're going to scan some of our own sheep, which is good. What a beautiful evening it is. Like, what an amazing day to be travelling halfway around Scotland and getting very little work done, as it was. But anyway, we're at uh, nearly 5pm. We're going to do this, then I'm going to try and get a boat to Aaron tonight. So let's see how we go on. How are you, Lizzie? Yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a... Uh, Andrew Ireland, Farrier Services, big sheep fan. Okay, how's it looking here? Beautiful, isn't it? Trying really hard not to heavy breathe because I spent all winter sitting on my bum, not doing very much exercise. That's the truth. Yeah. Oh yeah, just remembered the tups are still out here. Come by. You won't be able to see, I don't think, because of that sun, but... Hi, Dune! Hey! Sometimes, give Meg a wee grill. It basically goes by tone. The relationship Meg and I have, it's like, if, if I don't give her a grill, she knows she can keep creeping. But if I give her a grill, she'll like stay lying down like she is there. <laughs> so she'll know, know by the tone. Walk up. Everything's so mucky just now, we've had so much rain. It's just ridiculous to be honest with you. Lie down! Back to the front view, I've just padlocking the gate, right? Sheep are away. Up here. I don't know if you guys can see though, just how... I mean, this is dry ground. Well, this bit's a bit wet, I suppose, but generally it is quite dry ground here, but... Some mess that these big heavy girls make now. Top's still here. Terrible. Terrible example to be setting. Okay, well done. That looking quite good fettle in general. Right, there he is then. What are you saying today? Hey? I'm today in my tea time, Daddy. What are you saying, Jockey? Is this your dinner time? And we've got you out here working? Hey? Uh, go on, tell us a wee story, Jock. <laughs> What's that? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Feel better now. <laughs> Time's going on, we better hurry up, it's going to be dark. Let's get started. You're on, look, you're on YouTube. See the GoPro there? See it there? Look, look, there you go. Right, on you go, that's you. Big triplet, better write that down. So we're hoping, we're hoping for, oh! Go on, last, go forward a wee bit. That's you, that's you now. Of course you now. I've got you now. You're a twin. You're on you go. No mark on the twins, folks. Oh, these are a nightmare. Steady, you loud girls. What's that? Three branch. Right, steady, 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 you big heavy girl. Big girls, you are beautiful. Okay, so we've finished the scan there. We've finished at 78 sheep scanned and we finished at 199 percent we were so close to getting that 200 we had 15 singles 49 twins and 14 triplets an absolute just an incredible scan obviously you'd love if they were all twins but that's just amazing i'm absolutely delighted no empties is amazing ah i'm just i'm just chuffed like they're on a great bit of grass here uh, there's somebody for me better go well we're not finished yet sheep fans we're at the pier at Ardrossan, trying to get to Aaron on the last boat of the night. It's half past eight, so it's been quite a long day after setting off about half past three this morning. So it's one of the longer days of the scanning season, but we've had fun, apart from being absolutely gutted about not getting that boat. At least we got a lot of our own sheep scanned, and it was, it was fantastic. Really, really pleased with that result. Yeah, I'll probably just let this one finish off with some shots of the boat, sheep fans. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not sure how it's going to come together. Probably quite hectic. Hopefully you get a laugh at it and how stupid I was sitting there all cool, thinking I had loads of time. 
at the wrong pier. Oh, quite funny now you think about it. I hope you get a laugh. Anyway, we'll see you for the next one, cheap fans. Thanks for watching.